The acre is a unit of land area used in the imperial and U.S. customary systems. It is traditionally defined as the area of one chain by one furlong, which is exactly equal to 10 square chains, 1 640th of a square mile, 4,840 square yards, or 43,560 square feet, and approximately 4,047 square meters, or about 40% of a hectare. Based upon the International Yard and Pound Agreement of 1959, an acre may be declared as exactly 4,046. 8,564,224 square meters. The acre was sometimes abbreviated AC, but was often spelled out as the word acre. Traditionally, in the Middle Ages, an acre was conceived of as the area of land that could be plowed by one man using a team of oxen in one day. It is still a statute measure in the United States. Both the International Acre and the U.S. Survey Acre are in use, but they differ by only two parts per million. The most common use of the acre is to measure tracts of land. The acre is commonly used in a number of current and former British Commonwealth countries by custom only. In a few it continues as a statute measure, although since 2010 not in the UK itself, and not since decades ago in Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. In many of those where it is not a statute measure, it is still lawful to use for trade if given as supplementary information and is not used for land registration. One acre equals one 640th square mile, 4,840 square yards, 43,560 square feet, or about 4,047 square meters. While all modern variants of the acre contain 4,840 square yards, there are alternative definitions of a yard, so the exact size of an acre depends upon the particular yard on which it is based. Originally, an acre was understood as a ceiling of land sized at 40 perches long and 4 perches wide. This may have also been understood as an approximation of the amount of land a yoke of oxen could plow in one day. A square enclosing one acre is approximately 69. 57 yards, or 208 feet 9 inches, on a side. As a unit of measure, an acre has no prescribed shape. Any area of 43,560 square feet is an acre. In the International Yard and Pound Agreement of 1959, the United States and five countries of the Commonwealth of Nations define the International Yard to be exactly zero. 9,144 meter. The U.S. authorities decided that, while the refined definition would apply nationally in all other respects, the U.S. survey foot would continue until such a time as it becomes desirable and expedient to readjust, it. By inference, an international acre may be calculated as exactly 4,046. 8,564,224 square meters but it does not have a basis in any international agreement. Both the International Acre and the U.S. Survey Acre contain 1 640th of a square mile or 4,840 square yards, but alternative definitions of a yard are used, so the exact size of an acre depends upon which yard it is based. The U.S. Survey Acre is about 4,046. 872 square meters, its exact value is based on an inch defined by 1 meter equals 39. 37 inches exactly, as established by the Mendenhall Order of 1893. Surveyors in the United States use both international and survey feet, and consequently, both varieties of acre. Since the difference between the U.S. survey acre and international acre is only about a quarter of the size of an A4 sheet or U.S. letter, it is usually not important which one is being discussed. Areas are seldom measured with sufficient accuracy for the different definitions to be detectable. In October 2019, U.S. National Geodetic Survey and National Institute of Standards and Technology announced their joint intent to end the temporary continuance of the U.S. survey foot, mile and acre units, with effect from the end of 2022. The Puerto Rican Cuerda is sometimes called the Spanish acre in the continental United States. The acre is commonly used in a number of current and former Commonwealth countries by custom, and in a few it continues as a statute measure. These include Antigua and Barbuda American Samoa, the Bahamas, Belize, the British Virgin Islands, the Cayman Islands, Dominica, the Falkland Islands, Grenada, Ghana Guam, the Northern Mariana Islands, Jamaica, Montserrat, Samoa, St. Lucia, Street, Helena, Street, Kitts and Nevis, Street, Vincent and the Grenadines, Turks, and Caicos, the United Kingdom, the United States and the U.S. Virgin Islands. In India, residential plots are measured in square feet, while agricultural land is measured in acres. In Sri Lanka, 
the division of an acre into 160 perches or four roods is common. In Pakistan, residential plots is measured in Kanao and open slash agriculture land measurement is in acres in Muraba, Jerab, Wiswa and Gunta. Its use as a primary unit for trade in the United Kingdom ceased to be permitted from October 1, 1995, due to the 1994 Amendment of the Weights and Measures Act, where it was replaced by the hectare, though its use as a supplementary unit continues to be permitted indefinitely. This was with exemption of land registration, which records the sale and possession of land, in 2010 the land registry ended its exemption. The measure is still used to communicate with the public, and informally by the farming and property industries. The area of one acre superposed on an American football field and association football slash soccer pitch. One international acre is equal to the following metric units, one United States survey acre is equal to, one acre is equal to the following customary. Units, perhaps the easiest way for U.S. residents to envision an acre is as a rectangle measuring 88 yards by 55 yards. About nine-tenths the size of a standard American football field. To be more exact, one acre is 90. 75% of a 100 yards long by 53. 33 yards wide American football field. The full field, including the end zones, covers about 1. 32 acres. For residents of other countries, the acre might be envisioned as rather more than half of a 1. 76 acres football pitch. It may also be remembered as 1% short of 44,000 square feet. Farm-derived units of measurement. The rod is a historical unit of length equal to 5 plus half yards. It may have originated from the typical length of a medieval ox goad. There are four rods in one chain. The furlong was the distance a team of oxen could plow without resting. This was standardized to be exactly 40 rods or 10 chains. An acre was the amount of land tillable by one man behind one ox in one day. Traditional acres were long and narrow due to the difficulty in turning the plow and the value of riverfront access. An ox gong was the amount of land tillable by one ox in a plowing season. This could vary from village to village, but was typically around 15 acres. A vergate was the amount of land tillable by two oxen in a plowing season. A curricate was the amount of land tillable by a team of eight oxen in a plowing season. This was equal to eight ox gangs or four vergates. The word acre is derived from Old English edger originally meaning open field, cognate with West Coast Norwegian ekre, Icelandic akur, Swedish acre, German acre, Dutch acker, Latin ager, Sanskrit ajr, and Greek alpha gamma rho sigma. In English, an obsolete variant spelling was acre. According to the Act on the Composition of Yards and Perches, dating from around 1300, an acre is 40 perches, rods, in length and 4 in breadth, meaning 220 yards by 22 yards. As detailed in the box on the right, an acre was roughly the amount of land tillable by a yoke of oxen in one day. Before the enactment of the metric system, many countries in Europe used their own official acres. In France, the acre was used only in Normandy. But its value varied greatly across Normandy, ranging from 3,632 to 9,725 square meters, with 8,172 square meters being the most frequent value. But inside the same Pays of Normandy, for instance in Pays de Co, the farmers made the difference between the Grand Acre and the Petit Acre. The Normandy Acre was usually divided in four verges and 160 square perches, like the English Acre. The Normandy Acre was equal to 1. 6 Arpon, the unit of area more commonly used in northern France outside of Normandy. In Canada, the Paris Arpent used in Quebec before the metric system was adopted is sometimes called French Acre in English, even though the Paris Arpent and the Normandy Acre were two very different units of area in ancient France. The German word for acre is Morgan. There were many variants of the Morgan, differing between the different German territories, statutory values for the acre were enacted in England, and subsequently the United Kingdom, by acts of, historically, the size of farms and landed estates in the United Kingdom was usually expressed in acres. Even if the number of acres was so large that it might conveniently have been expressed in square miles. For example, a certain landowner might have been said to own 32,000 acres of land, not 50 square miles of land. The acre is related to the square mile, with 640 acres making up one square mile. One mile is 5,280 feet. In Western Canada and the Western United States, divisions of land area were typically based on the square mile, and fractions thereof. 
If the square mile is divided into quarters, each quarter has a side length of half mile and is one quarter of a square mile in area, or 160 acres. These subunits would typically then again be divided into quarters, with each side being one quarter mile long, and being one sixteenth of a square mile in area, or 40 acres. In the United States, farmland was typically divided as such, and the phrase the back 40 would refer to the 40-acre parcel to the back of the farm. Most of the Canadian prairie provinces and the U.S. Midwest are on square mile grids for surveying purposes. Thanks for watching.